the carbonated beverage pour, CBP for short. Um, basically what it does is it takes, it recognizes the difference between a can and a bottle and will pour your beverage for you. Um, using stepper motors, a servo motor, Arduino, uh, IR sensors to determine what is being used. I took the Coca-Cola jingle and I converted it, uh, well I found the frequencies and I converted it to uh, pulse width to the pick. We cascade two transistors to amplify the sound. Basically our IR sensors are just, there's two on the beverage side that are positioned such that uh, they make use of the geometry changes between a can and a bottle to identify which one is present. And then on the other side there is the IR sensor detected glass and it was the pores that it runs a recording program. Two of the IR sensors here. There's the one for recognizing a bottle and one for recognizing a can. The can is too short, too short for one in the bottle, and then there's also one for the presence of a glass. All right. And the touch screen is down here. Place the can, and down here it recognizes the can has been placed and it's waiting for a glass. And then now that the glass has been placed, it's saying, um, should be saying, yep, it's saying can is placed, this is correct, and the proceed button. So we hit the proceed button, plays a little sound, and then it starts the pour procedure. Can versus the bottle. We actually have the uh, bottle opening mechanism um, inside this door, in which the door opens by a little servo, and then there's a, a straight can-like opening um, mechanism to just has a little forward that pops off the lid of the bottle. So this, this is all doing it because um, we're in order to have stepper motors in the back. We have four different stepper motors that are all controlled independently through four different picks. In order to pour a can, it needs to pull the can actually closer to the glass because the can is always almost tip top full with liquid. Um, and if it's not touching the glass when you start to pour it, the bottle actually has a neck to it. Um, and you'll see that during the bottle pour, it actually has to raise up again in order to get the rest of the fluid over the neck. And then so for a bottle, it same exact, a very similar operation. It recognizes the bottle input and it plays glass. And it recognizes both and then hit the button to proceed. And during this time, it would be normally moving straight up and the bottle would be going up into the bottle opener that's here on the servo. And then it begins the pour process for the bottle. Um, and normally this would move back up again. And then they end up beating. Um, so when the bottle, the bottle starts to pour a little bit below 90 degrees, um, we actually did thorough research on that. Um, and then once it reaches the top, it has to go up again in order to finish pouring out the rest of the liquid. Um, and then they all come down. Here we have our 12-volt uh, DC power supply. It's rated up to 30 amps. It's connected to a 4-axis uh, CNC motor controller. Um, and the 4-axis CNC motor controller is what actually pulses all the signals to all of our four different servos. And it hooks to four picks um, that each one is set to individually control um, its according axes. And then there's also a pick in charge of running a speaker through transistor assist over in the corner. And then all of them are very chaotically wired to a central kind of power breadboard so that all the grounds and stuff are hooked together in the center.